So this is another wee Sandy whiskey uh, talk or whiskey review just for the crack here. Uh, so Jura is an island off of Isla without a doubt, very famous in its own right for deer stalking, scenery, fishing uh, and it has a very awesome distillery which I hope to go to again someday. I've not been for a long time but I have been to Jura a few times and it has a lot to offer people. So the Jura journey here which you can buy in just about any supermarket, most uh, whiskey shops and stuff have it, is without its doubt a very affordable and very good dram. Uh, definitely worth having a bottle, everyone should probably have a bottle under cupboard. Every, I don't know anyone that doesn't really like it. Jura 10, Jura 10 uh, was probably one of the ones that kind of helped make Jura in a lot of ways. It was a really good, affordable bottle. A few years ago, when I started drinking whiskey, you could buy this bottle for £18 out of Vicky Wines. They used to do a lot of promotional deals. Uh, it was a, definitely a whiskey you would buy if you're going around and you're trying to, maybe you didn't like it as much as I did now, but if you had a Jura 10, it was always a good conversation or it was always a good way to think about getting into whiskies. Definitely an entry level. Then it goes up, we have the 12 here. This 12 is a wee bit more special, but I'm going to come back to you really soon on it. So, this 12 is a 12 year old Jura sherry cask. I'm going to come back to that one in a wee minute. And then you get an 18 year old Jura, which is without a doubt, it's a good value for money Jura because it is in the 50 to 60s which is not too bad for an 18 year old whiskey. So I'm going to come back to this and uh, rhyme off a few reasons. So when you get into whiskey and you start collecting and drinking, I feel there's always a few rules you should obey. You should buy a bottle of whiskey, one to keep, one to drink, so you've said you've been able to drink it and you've tried the whiskey so you don't just spill off things that you don't know what you're talking about. If you get one for a gift, I feel you should always open it and always drink it. So this one here, uh, you can actually buy in the Jura shop and they do export to Taiwan. I've never seen any more for sale other than the Jura shop or hearing about the export to Taiwan. So uh, this bottle was given to me as a present. So I've had to open it just ahead of the camera. I've done the unwrapping of it. Maybe a bit of struggle there getting it open, but that's it open and I'm going to pour a wee dram. Sherry Casks is definitely one of my favourite uh, types of whiskey. A 12 year old is a really good whiskey to, to get it because it's been matured for that length of time and I feel that's a good one to try 12 and 10 and uh, so I can smell the sherry from here. So definitely, I hope I'll distribute a few drams of this to friends and find out what other people think of it. But that's the first one I've tried and I can smell the sherry from here, so. And it does have a lot of, it has a lot of body to it and a lot of taste. And I would definitely say that that was a whiskey that was very much I was glad I've managed to get a hold of. So uh, another slanty bar, slanty bar, which is nice. And uh, thank you for the person that gave me this bottle of whiskey. And I hope to try more and review more of it. So that's Sambi out.